Hi everyone and welcome to the Actually Business World. Today, we're going to talk about 5 habits that keep you poor. But before, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Not Budgeting The difference between celebrities or pro athletes that make millions of dollars throughout their careers but end up retiring broke and the average middle-class worker that builds up a large nest egg over time and retires comfortably is only prudential financial planning. You see, it doesn't matter how much money you make in the long run. What really matters is how much money you keep. The most important thing when it comes to keeping more of your money is meticulously tracking and assigning your money to different tasks through a budget. When money is told what to do, it becomes an incredible efficient helper on your path to reaching your financial goals. But if you don't discipline your money, if you don't teach it how to become a useful member of your financial organization, then it can become one of your greatest sources of stress and anxiety. The key to retirement and financial freedom is not saving up a huge amount of money and then simply eating away at it, hoping that it lasts you until you die. The real key is teaching your money to earn more money on its own and then amassing a large enough army of money in order for them to continuously bring in sufficient incremental gains on a regular basis for that to replace your main source of income. Number 2. Having a Poor Money Mindset Generally, the rich see poverty as the root of all evil and the poor see money as the root of all evil. The basis behind this mindset is that for the poor not having money is a huge deal, as it represents a lifeline, a means to happiness, safety, security, and support. But for the wealthy, having money is simply a tool, something that provides utility or function. For example, when you're hanging off of a cliff, a piece of rope can become your most important thing. It can consume your focus, because without it, you'd likely fall to your death and you do anything to protect this piece of rope to make sure it doesn't wear or tear even in the slightest way. But when you're on solid ground, this same rope is really nothing more than an item that will help you complete your task when you put it to good use. Even if it becomes worn, you end up producing the results you wanted. You see, depending on what situation you're in, an object can become a critical life dependency or it can simply be a tool that helps you complete a task. And when it comes to finances, adopting the latter mindset will help you to start see money as only a means to an end, like a digital assistant whose only purpose is to carry out your orders and help you accomplish your goals. Number 3. Poor Debt Management Wealth building can't happen until you get full control of your debt. It's one of the most fundamental things you need to account for when building out your financial plan. Poor debt managers will simply get by with paying off the minimum required payment amount each month, but motivated and mindful financial planners will work to pay off incremental principal each month, knowing that that will reduce the core borrowed balance, thereby reducing their interest payments and length of their debt. Poor debt managers will utilize their credit cards to the limit and sign up for every new offer that comes their way. While mindful financial planners will carefully monitor their credit utilization, knowing that they need to protect their overall credit score. Managing debt is one of the hardest things to do, but trust me, it'll be one of the most worthwhile things you engage in when it comes to your financial success. Number 4. Impulse Buying Those who are constantly in financial distress are often the type to snatch up something whether it's on sale or not, even if the purchase wasn't exactly planned. In fact, impulse buying can lead to a series of different issues. First, many people will justify these unplanned purchases by saying that they earned this new gadget or that the item is not a want but a need. Second, these spur-of-the-moment purchases when put on a credit card may lead to the person paying for the item without actually having the funds to cover the cost. Finally, these random purchases make it much more challenging to adhere to your spending budget. 
to compound these issues, a lot of people, once realizing that their budget is blown, will continue spending knowing that they failed in sticking to their budget. As a best practice, every day say the following affirmation to yourself, I only buy what I need. Before you know it, you'll be a much more conscious spender, and this restraint from making impulse purchases will have your bank balance growing in no time. Number 5. Expecting a Miracle People who are constantly in money troubles often believe that writing their finances would take a money miracle. However, you're never going to get out of debt by winning the lottery. Landing a windfall from a wealthy relative or having the world's best-paying job simply fall in your lap. What makes this way of thinking so dangerous is that it removes you from a position of control. When you're hoping for someone else to swoop in and save you from your bad habits, you're handing over the financial steering wheel and emotionally cutting yourself off from your debt. Of course, we all know that your credit, debt, and lifestyle belong only to you and only you can solve the problem. In fact, having a sense of control is one of the keys to financial wellness. You see, there are many aspects of life that are out of your control. So, instead of waiting for a miracle, start opening your bills and taking the time to make a budget. Set up payment agreements to stay current, pay all new bills on time, and remember that you're the one who's affected when you're stuck in debt. Thanks for watching. We hope you really enjoy this video.